Right, Claire. Yep. I've got the pre-flight checks ready. Okay. Okay. Yep. So unplug electric cable. I did that. Okay. Yep. Turn off gas. We've not had the gas on. Close the air vent. Is the air vent closed? Um, ensure table and pole are slotted away securely. They are. Ensure work surfaces are free of objects that may move. Done. Ensure upstairs storage area is secure. Secure. Lock fridge and check cupboards are secure. Are closed and secure. Excellent. We're ready to go for another adventure. Right. Let's buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Thunderbirds are go. Hello and welcome back to the channel. So we've come out for the day. We're still in Cornwall, but I'm going to pass you to Claire, who's going to show you and tell you where we've come. Here you go, Claire. Hello. So we are starting the day at the Lizard. Look at that. How beautiful. It's a little bit on the windy side at the moment, but it's just stunning anyway. It's a fun fact about Lizard Point. Um, this is the most southerly part of Britain and on the actual mainland. So we just met a lady from the National Trust. She was giving us a few facts. So literally behind me, if you went out to sea and swam straight across, you would hit Spain. Now as I turn, if you went that way and swam out behind me, you would hit Brazil and if I turn again and if you swam slightly around the coast that direction would take you to North America and that would be the first place that you would hit. Let's go around the coast and we'll see what we can find around there. Is there a place with sun all year round and pina coladas with pretty faces and sand on the ground I want to stop this ongoing train Before I lose my mind and go insane I don't want to sleep every night I want a lot of spark in the dark I don't want to say I'm okay Living the same every day Come run beside me, let's take off Let's leave this place For another place oh. Maybe all we need is different God, what happened? Uh, I don't know why. I'm guessing the sea brings it in. What is it? it smells like poo. What? I've got to go and wash my boots. I don't know if it's just mouldy seaweed or what. <laughs> ah. It smells like manure. Yuck.
So for those of you that watch our channel frequently, you'll know that Claire is scared of heights. Um, I think she's just beat that fear today. Now if you look on the top of that rock, you'll see someone waving back at you. Uh, yeah, that's Claire. Things have changed. <laughs> look at that. Don't try this at home, kids. Go next door instead. Wowza. What a woman. What a machine. Hello, so we're back in the van. Oh, as you saw, I'm sure, from our footage, oh, the lizard is an absolute delight. Absolutely loved it. The coastal walk was stunning. It's just stunning. Anyway, so we've got some good footage for you, hopefully. Hopefully you've enjoyed coming with us. Uh, we're now on our way to Falmouth via uh, Tesco's uh, to pick up some dinner and some essentials. I think we'll need some wine. <laughs> so yeah, we'll catch up with you at Falmouth. Lily, what are you waiting for? Why are you sitting at the table? You've already been fed. Do you think you're getting more? Do you think you're getting more dinner? Anyway, David has done it again. He's found us a view to have our evening meal. We are at Fa oh, I keep saying it wrong. What is it, David? Falmouth. Falmouth. It's not foul mouth, <laughs> like potty mouth. <laughs> David keeps taking the mickey at me because I keep saying it wrong. But we're at Falmouth Beach, a swan pool beach to be more specific. And apart from these two cars that have parked there, we do have a lovely view of the sea. David is cooking our dinner. Yeah. What are you cooking us, David? So tonight we've got pizza calzone, otherwise known as 259p pizzas on top of each other in the Ridge Monkey. Yeah. Cutting off. Yep. Um, birds are potato waffles, the world food versatile. <laughs> birds are potato waffles. And we've got <coughs> garlic bread, which I think is still in the fridge. Got garlic bread. Lovely. So we're going to have that, and then we're going to have a little stroll around Falmouth. Falmouth, yeah. yeah. I've done it right now, Falmouth. Oh uh, yeah, similarly to the beach where we were at St Michael's Mount yesterday, if you come before the 1st of July or after the 31st of August, or outside of 10 till 6, dogs can go on the beach. And as you can see, one in the sea there, one running backwards and forwards there. So yeah, we're going to take the girls on the beach, and then we're going to go up the cliff top walk. I met an old man I said, tell me your story He took out an old pen And wrote something for me Walking on down the road And I watched him disappear like smoke And I thought I'd just seen a ghost Then I looked down at what he wrote So we are just packing up now to go home and we've opened up our tent our little beach tent and there is you can see that a pool of water so it isn't waterproof like what we thought it was going to be however it's not a defect to the tent it's just it is meant for the beach so it's not meant to be waterproof it's just we hope to use it to store stuff like bedding and stuff while we're out in the van but obviously we can't do that we just wanted to update you really that, um, yeah, if you're thinking of doing that like us, don't. Okay, so it's no surprise that Claire has a massive thing about having a fixed bed in the motorhome. So I've come up with an idea and I said to Claire, I said, we need to do a campsite tour. So I said, if you can do the campsite tour quicker than it takes me to put the bed away, I said, then I will sell this tomorrow and I will get a motorhome with a fixed double bed. And Claire is ready for the challenge, isn't you, Claire? Yeah, we've 
got bloody building behind us. Yeah. What are you wearing? So, I've put the running gear on because I want to have myself an advantage because a lot's riding on this. Fix bed, people. Fix bed. Right, well, we have got a bit of a racket, so bear with me. So, I'm just going to pan you around to show you the pitches. So, as you can see, we've got lots of pitches. They're fairly spaced out, hard standing, and there's obviously grass areas as well. I'm now going to take you around and show you facilities. And I'm running. <laughs> it is a one way system, but I don't think it matters if you're on foot because I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> so, as you can see, there's lots of spaces, lots of pitches. What's a funky car? There's one out there. Oh. It's a dog friendly site, as you've probably gathered. Okay, they're shedding trees. So, this is a recreation room. Oh, it's locked. I think that's only open at certain times. But there is a ping pong, ping pong and games and things in there. What's up here? We've got showers, showers rooms there. Oh, excuse me. Men's showers. Ladies, I'll just check there's no one in there. So we've got two large showers. Lots of toilets and some tap rooms with just taps. Go back out. So that's a little washing up area, laundry area, up the steps, and then we continue around around here. Drinking water and through here we've got another field. Another huge grass area and for more pitches. I think you mainly have tents in here. Oh, it was a hive activity yesterday. There was a little group in the middle having a barbecue. Fun times. Okay. So, this is the dog walk area. Still got to keep dogs on leads. And basically, it's a big field. And it's all mown, all round the outside. And there is a diagonal bit in the middle if you want to do half a walk if you've got a little dog. There's poo bins all the way around, which is really handy. I'd keep them out of long grass. I have heard there's snakes in the long grass. Anyway, that's the dog walking area. Oh, I'm only supposed to go five miles now. I can get around here. That's a lodge. I don't know if that's something you can hire out. I'm not 100% sure. So there is berries. And you get given a code when you come in to get in and out. So actually, to get out, it just raises. There is a there's reception. They do have a fish and chips on site every Monday, and they have pizzas on site every Monday from 7:30, which is really cool. There is a shop in there as well. I'm not going to take you in there because I'm limited time. And there. It's a fixed bed ride on this. So just out here, this is the, the entrance. And we've got the bin area. There. Morning. <laughs> Take you back through here. And this will, this is all the one way. And it will lead us back to Barney. Well, hopefully, he's still putting a bit down. 
I'm gonna run as fast as I can. Pray for me, people. Oh, we're coming back to the pitch. Quickly, Claire, 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 how'd you get on? I thought you were going to do it again. <laughs> no, 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 how'd you get on? Well, I did the campsite tour. Yeah? What's going on with the bed? I've done the bed. No fixed double bed for you. And I even had a conversation with next door about condensation and I've had a coffee. Better luck next time. You better go and get yourself washed. You look all sweaty. I need, I need another shower now. All right, you go and have another shower. I'll finish my coffee. Hello. So we're in the van. We've packed up from the site and we're now on our way to Newquay, but we're stuck in a bit of traffic. So I'm going to take this opportunity to tell you about our new friends on the site. We met um, a lovely couple, Kevin and Denise and their little dog, um, Rupert. Rupert the bear, little cockapoo. Well, big cockapoo. Um, Kevin has David dream job, doesn't he, David? Yeah, he's a train driver. All yeah. I get to drive is the camper van. <laughs> yeah, so he's been a, he worked on the railway. He's been on the railway for a long time. Um, yeah, they were a lovely couple. We got some, had some nice chats. So if you are watching, Kevin and Denise, lovely to meet you. Thank you for putting up with our noisy little dogs. <laughs> yeah, but uh, touch base with us on Facebook. Look for Do Little Campers on Facebook and drop us a message because we'd love to meet up with you for a beer when we're in uh, Dorset next time. Yeah, so yeah, it was really nice. Lovely sight. Um, we really enjoyed it. The weather's been so kind to us lately. There was only one day of rain and that was while we was on the site. So hopefully, fingers uh, crossed, it stays nice. So yeah, head into New Quay and uh, we'll pick you up there. The sea is blue. The sand looks nice. Um, that house is amazing. Imagine having to go across that bridge to get to your house. How quirky is that? But yeah, the dogs aren't going to be allowed on the beach. So at the minute, still not really worth the rigmarole that we had parking, to be fair. So, things have took a turn for the better. I just spoke to the lifeguards up there and I said, I don't suppose dogs are allowed on the beach, are they? Because there's no sign. And they said, yeah, absolutely. They said, people have been bringing dogs on the beach for years. They said, there's some down there already. So, yeah, look at that beach. 